Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about Ansible, what it is, uh, we are going to talk about some features about it, and also how to install it in Linux. In this case I'm using CentOS 7, so let's start. Okay, Ansible is usually categorized as a configuration manager tool. This is a free software that will allow us to automate a lot of process when we connect to a several machines. Let's say that we have a requirement to patch uh, 100 of Linux machines and also 50 Windows machines uh, to the latest version about all the libraries or installed packages. This is where Ansible can help us to do that sort of tasks because uh, this tool will connect to those servers and execute several commands that we will configure and this will be a very very quick process instead of go to each server one by one. So this is a very useful tool. One of the key features of Ansible is that this tool is agentless, which means that we don't have any we we don't have any any tool or any agent installed or on each server, but Ansible will connect to, to them uh, by using the SSH keys. So it is a, a good feature to not have to, uh, to install any extra software on our servers. Also, Ansible is based on modules, which means that we will have a lot of functions uh, that are enabled from these modules. Let's say we have a module to file management, we have a module for network, we have a module for for ping, even uh, we need to use a module for ping in servers with Ansible. So this is a, a cool thing as well because the community is always releasing new new modules that will allow us to do uh, different things. And also we have another component called playbooks. Playbooks are, uh, let's say, a manifest to that that we'll use in Ansible to tell them what task we need to to do it with it. So a playbook has some plays in it. This uh, section called play will contain some tasks so that we can have a play to install Tomcat, we have a play to, to start Apache, we have a play to upload or customize configuration to all of the servers, and we have a play to install certain app, let's say Nigeos or Savix or any other agent for these monitoring tools, and we can do it by using a playbook. This playbook will run once, but Ansible will take care to display or to spread these, these instructions among all of the, the servers that you have in your inventory. Um, by using the SSH keys, this is the, the method to use uh, to, to connect to each server. Okay, let's proceed to the installation. Uh, it is pretty convenient that on CentOS we have the repository up to date, so we can only, sorry, we can just type jump install Ansible and it will install what I miss. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Um, it will install all the dependencies. In this case, Ansible was written in Python. So if you don't have Python or you are missing a library, it will install it because it belongs to to Joom and the repositories. This is very very convenient. So we will wait until the, the packages are installed. I'm going to pause the video and resume when it is done so we can test it. Okay, 
Joom has completed the installation. So if I type Ansible in my command line, it will display all the version that we can use. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to the channel to get more videos and also we will we will upload new videos with cool stuff uh, by integrating Ansible with another tools and uh, to automate some processes. Stay tuned. Thanks.